Welcome to Amplify Digest, where I break down some of the top news and trends and all things people in five minutes or less. And I want to open with this thoughtful Fast Company piece by All Voices CEO Claire Schmidt on how to convey the big picture of HR within your organization. There's some great practical tips in here as to how to help employees uh, see the elephant, so to speak, as they, they, you know, reference in the article, but also some really good tips around how you can build the, um, you know, uh, credibility, understanding and awareness of what the HR function does within your business. So this one's definitely worth a read and probably a bookmark for a lot of you. This next HBR piece gets into uh, really how we need to be rethinking employee retention and reimagining that in the environment we're in right now. And I think, you know, as we enter whatever level of economic downturn we're in, I think a lot of organizations still view career progression and employees view career progression from a vertical uh, standpoint, right? How can they get that promotion? How can they move up the, uh, you know, the org chart? And I think that this piece frames other ways to think about employee development and enrichment and growth, which I think as we enter again, whatever phase of the economy we're entering, uh, these are some practical tips that will be valuable for you in down markets and up markets. So this is something that's worth your time. Um, Josh Burson has another uh, you know, interesting piece that he published uh, last week on the confusing job market. And some of the, you know, uh, disconnects with the CEO and the CHRO around what is happening in the job market. And as Josh always does, there's a lot of great data behind this story. Um, you know, and it is interesting. I think everybody, uh, you know, we, we, we throw the word recession around quite a bit, but the unemployment numbers and the job market numbers aren't really showing that yet. So is it coming? Maybe. Is it going to be significant? I don't know. But I think taking a look at this uh, and looking at some of the data, he references several third-party reports, uh, will just help you get a clear understanding of what is happening right now and why it's so confusing. And uh, I also want to flag this first round piece to you uh, with some advice on upping your management game. And this is a great article and resource for you as people practitioners and HR practitioners, but also for your teams. Um, first round is exceptional as it relates to creating content that is very germane and relevant to our world in HR. So this one is definitely worth your time. I think it'd be worth a bookmark. And, uh, you know, this may be something you want to even think about how you can bring some of these um, ideas and practices into your organization. Uh, and lastly, for this week, I wanted to flag this New York Times article on the office's last stand. So they spotlight Credit Karma uh, in this piece, though they they go beyond that a bit, but you know, Credit Karma announced that um, they will be having employees return. They have a hybrid structure, but they do deeply believe that the in-person meetings and the relationships cultivated in an office are core to who they are as an organization, and they're very clear about that. And so, I think uh, you know, obviously, there's lots of opinions on every side of the spectrum as it relates to you know, co-located versus remote and or hybrid. But what I appreciate about um, what Credit Karma and specifically Colleen McCreary, their chief people, places, and publicity officer is doing here is having a view and articulating that view with clarity for employees. So they know what the expectations are. That I think is what has been so challenging for employees is that, you know, companies are saying something, changing something, backpedaling, reintroducing something, and the ambiguity creates a lot of unnecessary stress for employees. So, um, what this piece didn't mention, and hop over to my LinkedIn uh, feed if you want to see this exchange, but Colleen actually added um, in this post about how um, their attrition and uh, you know uh, offer acceptance rates and all these markers of a healthy culture and hiring uh, apparatus are actually exceptionally high. So you know, regardless of your view on hybrid and remote work, I think this clarity has really been an advantage for them as it relates to uh, hiring and retaining top talent within the organization. So that's a wrap for this week. I'll be back next week with more news and updates. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you next week.